Rank these Bravo Labs in order of who you'd most to least likely want to date. Hey, I'm Lindsay Hubbard and we're taking cheap shots with Cosmo. Should I eeny, meeny, miny, moe it? Baby, don't get so activated. <laughs> I'm gonna absolutely suck at this. <laughs> I am terrible at shots. My shot face is just that I try go under the table and hide it most of the time. In round one, I'll be taking shots at myself. The drinks are gin and tonics. Do you understand what gin does to me? Four are regular, and then one is spiked with cheap gin. Question one. Name one summer house confessional look you wish you could change. Oh gosh. Honestly, on this season, I had a beautiful, natural look makeup wise, but then there was this one extension that was straight and hanging down and the rest of my hair was long and I wanted to die. Wish I could change that. Question two. You said on Chicks in the Office podcast that you ignored Carl's red flags. What's your biggest red flag? Huh, great question. I just fall hard and fast. I think that's kind of a red flag. My therapist always tells me, she's like, you trust too easily. Like, stop being so trusting. Maybe that's the red flag. We could keep going. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of red flags. <laughs> question three, as a former publicist, What's one piece of PR advice you'd give yourself from your time on Summer House? I should probably be better at doing PR for myself. <laughs> Maybe don't get so activated. <laughs> don't get drunk all the time on camera. You stop yelling at You're me. You're insulting me. Then you better bow to my feet. Don't change in front of the surveillance cameras in the corners of the rooms. You know, stop sucking on nipples. Definitely always make out with the girls that you make out with. Like I did PR for brands, not people, and especially not myself. So I'm just not the best person to give advice about personal PR. Okay, question four. You've been called one of Bravo's ultimate villains. Name one time you intentionally caused drama on Summer House. I'd never intentionally caused drama on Summer House. It just follows me around. And I just happen to be a very direct and outspoken person without fear of the consequences that come after that. Do you accept this title as one of Bravo's ultimate villains? You know, we're all villains at one point or another, right? Like some seasons I'm the villain, some seasons I'm not, some seasons someone else is. Like, who cares? Question five. You're known to get activated on the show. What's one activation where you went too far? I'll drink to this one because I don't think I've ever gone too far. Oh God. Should I eeny, meeny, miny, mo it? I just, I feel like you're not gonna put the bad one in the middle. Not bad. Went down easily. It was not the cheap shot. Round one complete. Round two, timed shots. The drinks are rosé, which you know I love. One is spiked with cheap ass tequila. Question one, ready? Oh God. What are the ingredients in a BBC, Bailey's banana colada cocktail that you all drank in the first season of Summer House? Is the time clock starting? Oh, it's starting. Banana, Bailey's, actually not Bailey's, it's, no wait. Yes, it is Bailey's. Rum, we have like maybe a dark rum. There's something creamy in there. I wanna say that's the Bailey's and bananas. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when Cyril dies and you don't drink BBCs anymore. You missed pina colada mix. And cream of coconut. Oh gosh. Well, I never made them. Kyle always made them for us. BBC master at work. BBCs. Bailey's banana cream. This is where I drink. At least it's just rose. In the clear. Question two. 
What was the first thing you ever said on Summer House? What? That I ever said? Hello? Do you remember what was happening? It was the crossover episode. Well, I'm pretty sure I walked in the door, right? And said, hello? <laughs> Not in the edit. What the hell did I say? You said, she's in the hot tub with Kyle. That was the first thing I've ever said on Summer House. Oh, because I see that first episode was considered a Vanderpump Rules episode, and then that, huh? All right, well, here I go. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh -oh. That was the one. That was terrible. Oh, God. Do you need water or anything? <sighs> I'm an athlete. Question three. What did the psychic tell Paige and Hannah about you in season five? Oh, the psychic told them that I f***ed Luke. Yeah, no, never f***ed Luke. Never even made out with the guy. He's hot though. You never would? I mean, never say ever. <laughs> Have you seen the guy? <laughs> Question four. How many times did you say sandwich in your infamous fight with Stravi? I'm gonna have to just take a guess at this because I was pretty drunk that night when I was yelling about sandwiches. Let's say seven. Four. Ah. What sandwiches have you made me? How many sandwiches have you made for me? How many sandwiches have you made for me? I'm pretty sure you haven't made me one sandwich. I mean, honestly, all true. Great <laughs> comebacks. Do not regret any of it. So cheers to sandwiches. Love that. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't love a sandwich? Question five. Name five co-stars Carl has had a flame with. This should be easy. Lauren Workus, Paige DeSorbo, Lindsay Hubbard, Danielle, um, and uh, Jules from season four. Woohoo! Finally, I <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, that Jeep as tequila is really hitting. <laughs> Round two, complete. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this for fun. <laughs> now it's complete. Round three, cheap shots. I will be taking literal cheap shots at everyone. The drinks are espresso martinis, but one is spiked with cheap vodka. Question one. Carl recently claimed you didn't want Kyle to be a groomsman in your wedding. Name three reasons why you didn't want him as a groomsman. Well, I mean, it's just not even true. We agreed to have nine bridesmaids and groomsmen. Then all of a sudden there was a summer house, guys. Kyle. Luke and Andrea. I said, if one of your groomsmen can't make it last minute, who would you replace as a groomsman? And he said, Andrea. So then I said, okay, well, I still think that like maybe it might be good to include the summer house boys in the wedding. What if we make them flower boys? I had no say in who Carl wanted as his groomsman. He had no say as to who my bridesmaids were. The only thing that we agreed on was the number. Why do you think he said that? Because he was trying to villainize me all season. What do you mean? I mean, have you been watching since episode one? He's just out to get me, this guy. Question two. Which castmate is the laziest when it comes to throwing parties? I would say this season, Jesse Sullivan. Yeah, remember we were setting up for the race car party. And I just kept giving him tasks. And like, every time I would go and find him, he was just like, oh, again. When we had Paige and Sierra and they said him with no hesitation also. Mm. He don't lift anything. Didn't set up for one party. People want to always come at me. I watched him walk around with a pinata for at least 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah well, then he probably knows. <laughs> Easy. Question three. Which couple do you see lasting longer? Kyle and Amanda or Paige and Craig? <laughs> I think we're good there. I don't know, hard to tell. 
Question four, rank the following from people who you'd most to least want to room with and tell us why. Paige DeSorbo, Kyle Cook, Danielle Oliveira. Okay, most want to room with, I'm gonna say Danielle. We have spent many a night in the same bed. We sleep well together. Then I would say Paige, because I feel like she just keeps to herself. I don't really feel like rooming with Kyle. I feel like he's gonna like show up drunk and he's just gonna like face plant wherever he lands on the bed. I mean, literally that happened where he just like face planted on my bed and I had to like pull him off. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, come on. <laughs> All right. Question five. On Watch What Happens Live, Austin Kroll said Sierra was a better kisser. Rank the co-stars you've made out with from best to worst kisser. It's Carl, Austin, or Luke. Well, I've never kissed Luke. I don't even remember making out with Austin. So he's got to go. And I try not to remember making out with Carl. So here we go. <laughs> Answered and I'm drinking. That's all she wrote. Are you sure you don't have any any more questions for me? You want to do a bonus question? It's I'm feeling me. bold. Bonus round. These are all the shots I haven't taken yet. So I can either answer this question or take one of these. Rank these Bravo Lebs in order of who you'd most to least likely want to date. So we have Tom Schwartz, Tom Sandoval, and Jason Chambers. I'm just taking this. <laughs> I don't want to date any of them. I'd rather take all of this than any of those people. I think I answered a good amount of questions. I'm, I'm a little buzzed from the cheap ass tequila. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out Summer House every Thursday at 9 on Bravo.